15 years ago. Oh, he did? Okay, Yeah, great. he did my neck fusion. And I think she said that you guys were, um, I think she saw one, she was at your house or something when you were doing a class? Um, oh, no, nobody comes into my house. Oh. <laughs> no, okay. I just kept her up to date on this, you know, because she was uh, bedridden okay. when all this started. So I right. told her about you and I told her about the sciatica yeah. workshop and I told her about the classes and... So I'm just so glad you guys are able to help her. I'm so glad she got her surgery. Yeah, she did. She's uh, doing pretty well, actually. She's coming along nicely. Yeah, we walk every Friday. So Great. Fantastic. All right. Uh, everything else is okay with you? Everything's good. I'm still doing all the exercises. And when Great. you guys stop, I have everything recorded, and I'll go back and do them. Beautiful. So. Yeah, there's a lot. So I try to change it up on you guys so you have a good variety. Um, so today is going to be a sideline day, so a lot of glutes on, your, on the outside of your glutes. So we're going to get that started. If you want to put your TheraBand on just above your knee. Okay, I already did a one-hour workout this morning. So. Oh, wow. Okay, <laughs> just get that on. I'll be right back. Amanda, are you starting to have okay. more people come in? Yes, uh, she can't hear you. I'm, I'm the only one that oh. can hear you at this point. But, uh, but you're starting to have more people come in? Yeah, it's getting busier and busier. People are becoming a little bit more, uh, or less fearful actually, and doctors are referring a lot more. People are having surgery, so those are coming in. Uh, hopefully this new spike won't you know, deter that as well. Yeah, well, I'm now with the new spike, I'm doing even less. I, yeah. Not that I was doing anything before, but <laughs> yeah. so I'm yeah. being really careful. Yeah, it's understandable. Okay, so we're going to be in a side plank position on your forearm. Uh, if you can, lift the hips up off the ground. If you can, then keep the hips on the ground. And once you're in this position, make sure you're really pulling up through your core and pulling up through those side obliques and go ahead and start your clam, Amanda. And she's opening one. This is a good starter for us. It's a good sideline glute mead. Uh, isolating exercise for your pelvis and your hips. Uh, as we progress throughout the today's session, we're going to make the lever arm, which I'll explain to you in a second, longer, which makes the exercise longer. And she's going to do between 12 and 15. And good, nice and stable through your pelvis. Good, looks really good. And let's flip to the other side, guys. So Amanda's gonna lift off. Allison, you stay in your same position. And again, really put your hand, left hand on your side of your hip there, Allison. Good, now keep it there as you open that knee. Good, to make sure that that hip does not, ro does not rotate on you, which it's not. It looks really good. I just want it gives you a nice feedback. And on the handout, it says two sets of 15, but I'm only gonna do one set of 15 of the next two exercises. Or this one and one more, I should say. All right, so back to your side that you started on, and we're gonna go hydrants now. So you guys should be familiar with hydrants. We've done this exercise. It's really a go-to for me. It's a really nice exercise for both hip and pelvic and core stability. Okay, good. Now, Allison, I want you to really think about pulling up that side. Even though you're not gonna unweight your hip, you're gonna pull up that side core to really feel those core muscles engage, which is gonna help stabilize your pelvis. The knee and the I'm foot open up together. That's fine. Yeah. Okay, so let's see. Really pull up that side. That rib cage is pulling up off of a relaxed position and up toward the ceiling. Amanda's getting done with her first set there. And then one more on the other side, Amanda. Good. Good. Very nice. Looks really good. That core looks really stable. I can tell you're working through your abdominal muscles there, Allison. Looks really nice. Good. The hips are very quiet. This is what we want. And just that leg, knee and foot moving. Very nice. And there may be a day when you can lift off your hips, but no hurry on that, uh, Allison. Whatever you yeah. feel you can do. 
Okay, I'm going to lot... keep just a tiny bit tighter. Yep, it takes a lot of shoulder and trunk strength for this. Yeah. And if you've had neck issues, it, it, it is a hard thing for you to do. Okay, Amanda's gonna turn on her back and she's going to, um, you wanna stretch, Amanda? Yeah, okay, so let's go ahead and take the band off in just a second. She's gonna do a piriformis stretch, which we're very familiar with. Get the glute and the piriformis, pull that left side toward her and hold for one minute. While you're holding that, I'm gonna explain the next exercise, which is a side plank with a pelvic core side lift. And this is gonna involve, uh, it gets a little intricate with this because she's, she's using a TheraBand, which she's gonna push out against in a sideline position. And then she's also squeezing a, an inflatable ball in between her thighs to get more of the pelvic muscles to engage. And that's where that pelvic floor activation comes into play. So Allison, do you have a an, uh, an inflatable ball there with you, small one? Um, it, it's just a Swiss ball. It's too big. Is it? How big is Actually, it? It's a pillow. I have a nice pillow that doesn't weigh anything. Yeah, that's fine. If it, if the ball's too big, because it should be small, you can use use a you can use a pillow. <clears throat> Okay. All right, side plank again position for Amanda, put the band on and then, uh, let's see where the band is. Okay, so I should get a pillow and not use the band? No, you need the band for sure, Allison. Uh, the pillow may replace the ball. So um, same place, just above the knee. And then this is gonna go in between, right there, good. Just like that. Okay. So knees are gonna be straight. And like you're gonna, yep, and you're gonna side lift, and then from here it's a very small movement. And I'm gonna let uh, Allison just watch this one for a second here, Allison. Okay. <laughs> okay, you have your band on. Mm -hmm. Okay, so watch Amanda. She's going to side lift, and then from here she's gonna it's a small movement out into the band while she's still keeping some pressure, squeezing that ball between her knees, between her thighs. <laughs> It is a lot of work. She's only going to do between eight, six and eight repetitions here. It doesn't. That's part of the thing. You have to, it's a finite movement where you have to open up into the resistance of the band with your side glutes, but at the same time, you're still maintaining some squeezing into that ball. It's a very okay, so awkward. Like, like this? Just. Yes, but keep, keep squeezing. Your, 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 your inner thigh should be in contact with that pillow. Do you have the pillow there still? I can't see it yet. Put that pillow in between your thighs. Maybe fold it up once. <laughs> Good. Yeah, it's a little tricky okay. one, but it's a nice one. Okay, knees are straight, both ends. Good. Again, okay, lift so that just... lift, lift that rib cage, and then just open into the band. Oh, Good. Lift the rib cage. Like. Yep. Yeah, exactly. Good. And then just like that. And then now keep the keep sque a little squeeze on the pillow as you open up the knee into the TheraBand or open up I, the I leg. I can't lift there. up. Um, it, it bothers my neck to lift up. Okay, my then don't lift up. Just, uh, just just keep nice and tight through your rib cage area. Good. Now just open like it. This. Yep. Just open up wide. Keep it's a small open uh, with the leg, but you're still squeezing that pillow. Like that. There you go. Good. So if you can see Alice, uh, Amanda Allison, you can see that yeah. it's a very small movement she's going through. Just enough okay. to cause resistance into the band, but not enough that it's opening up, uh, separating her thigh from the ball. Oh, got it, okay. So she's squeezing in both directions at the same time, which really brings in a lot of that pelvic floor. And I'm just gonna give her a cue here to create that lift through here. That's gonna get better engagement of her core and her pelvic floor muscles. And again, yeah, see, this eight. fatigues my neck like this, so okay. I couldn't possibly be up on my. Okay. Good. Just make Ooh. sure you pull that, okay. that neck, in the, neck into your throat. Okay. Let's see what we have here. Other side. Um, and let's do one more on each side. 
it's a small movement. It, all, it takes almost two, two, uh, two different sets to really get the hang of what I'm asking you to do, which is two different muscle groups at the same time, which is a nice co-contraction of those pelvic and uh, pelvic floor muscles. Good. Yep. So here go the other side. Amanda, where do you feel that? Your shoulder more than anything else? Okay. I think she's, you're so focused on the movement and the focus of it, it's, it's creating a lot of fatigue in that shoulder. It's a finite movement that takes some control. It takes a few repetitions, a few days actually to get this movement pattern down. So this one, and a, this one would take several treatment sessions to teach somebody how to do this. Almost like you're pulling in. I really it. feel it in my hip and groin okay. because this is the side that my sciatica bothers me. Perfect. Okay, good. All right. And we're going to wrap up when you, once you get to between 10 and 10 and 12 or eight to 10, um, you can wrap that one up. Okay. Take the ball out and then slide that TheraBand down closer to your ankles, Amanda. And same with you, Allison. Same position in a side, uh, Side position now, her knees are completely straight. And then now, she, again, longer lever arm. Now, what does that mean? That means that the muscle that is working is in her hip pelvic, the side of her hip area. But now the resistance is longer away from her uh, muscle that's working. So that creates a longer lever arm. When you create a longer lever arm, it makes the exercise harder because you're adding more torque. Um, so it, by laying on her side and straightening her knees, that's a nice progression. Now go ahead and she's going to keep her hips down, but she's going to lift up her pelvis. I'm sorry, her rib cage. So it creates there. Now hold that there as you open up into. Good. That's it. One. And open up as wide as you can. Knees straight. Pushing into that resistance. And this one will quickly start to burn on the side of the hip. It's very focused for the gluteus medius. You won't be able to open very far, just enough so that you feel that muscle working. Again, between 10 to 12 reps. Oh. And again, I'm going to open her up right here, there, hold it. Is this correct? That's it. Hold it at the top for just a second. One, hold it at the top. Good. Okay, let's do one more set of each. Even if you don't feel it right now, guys, you will be very sore in those side glutes tomorrow morning. Oh, and, I feel it. And the next day. It's very, very isolated and specific. Good. One, two. Looks really nice. So you, you have a nice complement here of Allison of a nice pelvic and back stability as you're strengthening your hips, which is really important. Oh. Now, did you, you had back surgery or neck surgery, Allison? Four, neck, four, five, five, six. Neck, okay. 15 years ago. Okay. Well, Dr. Bay was doing surgery back then? Yeah. Wow. He was young. He was arrogant already. He's now already. just more. Yeah, that's what, I've, that's, what I've, that's what I've heard. So Amanda's going to take off the band and she's going to stretch. Keep finishing your set here, Allison, and then we'll give you a stretch break. Same thing, piriforma stretch, just like you did on the previous stretch.
Now, like I said, that exercise, when I do it with my left, I feel it in the same, whatever my sciatica issues are, that's exactly where I feel it, in sort of no. my bum. Does it feel like pain, or like sciatica pain, or does it feel like muscles working? No, more like a little discomfort and sort of that part of my, the fleshy part of my, of my butt. Okay. That's yep. where I feel it. Okay, not bad. And then the, the intensity is also important. If it's a more than a five, four or five out of 10 pain, like you got a five. Oh, six, no, 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 no. It's just yeah. a, a feeling it. Yeah, if it's mild like that, then you kind of work through that and it will go away as you get those muscles stronger. Well, no, my sciatic is already so much better with all I've been doing. Great. All right, Allison, give it another 10 seconds or so, and then we're going to uh, go into the next exercise, which again is in side lying. Uh, it is similar to what we just did, except we add another component to it. Okay. With the strap? No strap on this one. Okay. You won't need a strap. Believe me, you won't need a strap. Okay, so with this one, she it's a similar movement to start. She's gonna open up her leg as wide as she can toward the ceiling, wider, wider, wider. Now from here, she's gonna kick the leg, keeping that height that she established and bring the knee, the whole leg toward me. Good, and then kicks it back behind her as far back as she can go. And she keeps that height that she opened. She never comes back to center or she never comes back to start position. She's going back and forth, sweeping back, Sweeping forward, keeping the leg height up. And she's going to do 10 of each. She's, this is probably number four already. Four, good. And open, five, five, six, good. And you if, you watch, if, you okay? the, if you watch the video, Allison, um, Looks good, keep that height up, good. The, the person who's doing the exercise has a very serious look to her face and she's almost sweeping her foot down. She points it and then she point, and then good, take a break. And then she brings it up as she brings the foot out in front, yes. Oh, I'm right, there is, I, I, Amanda's right, there is no video that you have, you only have the handout. So I'm, right. I'm giving you a Thank tease you. there. Yep. I thought I was going cuckoo. Other side. I forget that you guys, all my patients get videos along with the handouts, and I know you guys only get the, uh, the handouts. So again, sideline on the other side, and then she's going forward and then pulling back, keeping that height, Amanda. Good. Keeping that height. Very nice. Now this is hard for me because this is my back, my bad side. So I'm okay. So your height may not be very much on this one, which is okay. Just do the best you can. Just keep that forward and back motion going. Good. How's that? Looks good. As long as you don't put that foot down and you just keep moving in a forward and back direction. Yeah, That's I can't really get good. the height. Though. Yep, you're fine. Your knee staying straight, which is what we want. Again, you're creating that long lever arm. If you have long legs like Amanda does, it's even harder. Oh, okay. That's it. <laughs> okay. Take a break and let's stretch again. And we have one more exercise to go. One more strength exercise to go. And then the last one will be a, uh, another stretch, a little different stretch for your piriformis and your glutes. The next exercise is a finesse and control exercise. It's very similar again, where you open up the hip, keeping the knee straight, you get some height, and then you hold it at the top and you do a circular pattern with that hip. And I think I put, you're gonna do between five and 10 in each direction, depending on how you feel. I'm okay. sorry, am I supposed to be doing like a piriformis stretch right now? Piriformis stretch right now, Alice. Just to, just okay. to again, work out that muscle that you've been working so yeah. hard. This is very concentrated. Normally I don't concentrate on one muscle group of uh, the entire class, but for today I did. I mean, you're also working your back stabilizers and your abdominals, but it's very focused on the, the side glutes. Hold another 10 seconds and we'll get into our last strengthening exercise.
All right. I can't feel my leg. <laughs> she's going into her last position. She's, she's almost there. She's on down the home stretch. So which one is this on the handout? This is the sideline small circles. Sideline small circles. Okay, got it. Okay. So it's the same position as the previous one, except instead of moving the leg forward and back, she's going to do a circular pattern, maintaining her knee straight. The circular pattern comes from her hip. So raise up and then from here, small circles. One, two, three, four. Try not to touch down at the bottom of the circle, Allison. Once you get no more than 10, depending on your ability, and then you switch directions and go the other way. So just remember that you're going to go in both directions. So try not to do too much on the first go around. <clears throat> Good. All right, other side. Let's see this side, Allison. I know this is your weaker side. Right, so just. Yep. One. Hey, that's pretty good, actually. Two, three, four, five. Good. Keep the knee straight. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Go the other way. One, two, three, four, five. And one more set of each. So I feel that again in the same part of my glute. So is that good? Does that mean these are good for me to be doing? It is good. Can you point to where that glute on the on that right side? What part? On the left. Perfect. That's exactly where you should feel it. Right in that gluteus medius. And right. then at the end we're gonna stretch. And if you feel like you're really sore afterwards, you can go ahead and ice Allison. Okay. Amanda uh, can get some ice also. But... Yeah, you guys will put the ice pack out for me, right? She's feeling the knee. Yeah. She's feeling the ice. Yeah, it's that same side, right? Yeah. So again, Amanda having a little bit of an issue with her, side, her left leg. Last one, guys. Last side. Good, Allison. You're still holding strong there. That looks really good. Wow. <laughs> okay. So, Amanda, stay in a long sitting position. So, sit up and then back up a little bit. Just maybe not trying to. There you go. Good. Now, uh, keep cross your right foot over your left knee. Good. And then twist back around toward me. There you go, hook the arm and then feel that stretch on that right piriformis. Okay, good. Wait, so gonna... You're fine, Allison. Now just twist to your right a little bit more. See if you can hook your left arm on the outside of your right knee. Twist to your, there you go. Now that'll give you a little leverage to twist a little further to your right. And you want to hold that for yeah, about. Yes, I'm going the opposite way she is, so I, I'm having trouble. Yeah, yeah, you guys, you and guys are different. Which right. way? To your right. So yeah, just turn. like this? Yep, turn and look your right. And just nice and easy, don't force it. Take what your body gives. That's, that goes for any stretch. And again, 45 to 60 seconds on this one. Again, this is a spinal rotator, but also your, your piriformis. So if you really push with, with you, Allison, your left hand, and try to push the knee away from, let's say, push your, with your left elbow, push that, that right knee toward your left side of your body. You're going to get more pulling and stretching on that piriformis. Okay, yep. got it. Yep, and then switch. So then exactly the same thing, the opposite direction. Ooh. There you go. No. And there's always, you're, it looks a little bit more flexible going this way for you, Allison. Smell like this. Yep, and then turn and look to your left, over your left shoulder, and push that left knee toward the right side of your body, and really getting that stretch to occur. Another 10 seconds or so to go.
And we are done. Nice work, guys. So don't be surprised if your glutes are very sore tomorrow or even the next day. Usually the worst day is 24 hours or 48 hours after. Huh? Okay. Well, I can ice it. Yep. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. See you next week. You're very welcome. We'll see you next week, Allison. You take care. Okay. Bye.